Hello, this is Dwayne, and I am absolutely excited to share this video with you on today. Well, you know, I love sharing the insights that have helped me build wealth and are helping me expand it for generations to come. Today, I want to talk about three semiconductor stocks that you might want to have. At least you want to have one of them in your portfolio, as I believe they're going to continue to do extremely well in 2022. We're going to talk about that on today. Well, I want you to do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, hit that link tree link in the description if you want to see all the great things that you can get through this great channel. Well, I'm so excited today to talk about these three, three great semiconductor stocks that I believe would be great to have in 2022 in your portfolio. Let's get after it. Well, like I said, today I want to talk about these three stocks. Now, a lot of times we look at sectors and we see things that are moving positive, negative, whatever. Well, one of the things that I saw happening as we were moving in the last quarter of 2021 was the semiconductor sector was doing extremely well, um, recovering. We saw the chip shortage and all the impact it's had, and we are still coming out of it, but we are seeing some great movement uh, for these companies, and I want to highlight three that I believe would be very, very good to have in your portfolio. We're going to go to them. The first one is Teradyne Inc., ticker symbol T-E-R. It is up 63 cents or 0 0.38 as of today uh, as we are looking at it. And when we look at this company, you know, I like periodically to look to see who's shorting a company. We've got 2.58% shares shorted uh, right now. When we look at their cash equivalents, they've got 1.31 billion cash on hand. And when we look at their margins, gross margins are 59.53. They're retaining 59 cents for every one dollar of revenue. Profit margins, they have net income of 21, 27 or 28 cents for every one dollar of sales. Return on equity is good. That number, the higher the better. So we like to see this number continuously growing but the company is solid and if you look at it it is 98 percent owned by institutions so you understand how they view this company and they're not shorting it right now it is trading above its 50-day moving average and its 200-day moving average it has a beta of 1.39 so it's a little more volatile uh than the average in the market but uh you can do well and it plays a small dividend as well when we look at tip ranks tip ranks is a strong buy even though right now the price for the medium is 159.08 it has a high of 180 and so when we look at that it's 12 buy one hold nobody's saying sell this particular uh, stock the second one is corvo Q R V O ticker symbol today it's up two dollar two point three or it's just up again two point one three percent or three dollars and forty cents on the day when we look at the statistics for it again short interest is even less than Teradyne it's one point seven seven percent it is eighty six percent owned by institutions when we come down and look at cash it's got one billion in bank. And when we look at margins, it's 49 cents for every dollar of revenue, 24 cents income for every dollar of sales net income. And it's uh, ROE is 23. We'd like to see that be a little bit higher. Uh, but I know the company is solid, moving in a solid uh, direction as well. When we look at tip ranks for this one, it is a moderate buy. Six say buy, nine say hold, nobody's saying sell. It's got a medium price of 197.92, which is 21% upside, but the high is 245. And so that's a much higher upside if we saw it get to there. 
The last of these companies is Advanced Micro Devices. Now, as of today, at this moment, it is down 95 cents or 0.63. When we look at the statistics for this company, it's a little bit different than what we'd like to see. It is 70% owned by institutions, but 5% of it is being shorted. That's a little bit more than... Uh, you know the others but as long as this number isn't above 7.5 or 8 percent i am cool with it uh on their balance sheet they've got three billion in the bank uh margins is 46 cents for every dollar of revenue 26 cent net income for every dollar of sales has a decent roe of 59 percent and so a solid company when we look at tip ranks Tip ranks is a moderate buy. 14 say buy, 9 say hold, 9 say sell. Now, they give it lower. Uh, the mid range is a little lower than where it is right now. The high range is 180, which gives it very nice upside. When we look at the <clears throat> look at the charts for these three companies, the Teradyne chart is showing us that the signal line, the MACD, is right now in a point that is showing me that we can we can expect short term for sure to see some continued positive price action the relative strength index is at 63 right now and we are certainly trading above that 50 day that uh 200 day and we are even above the nine day so we're definitely in an upward trend as you can see we have been in an upward trend here uh and that's a good thing that we see happening for teradyne when we go to uh cuarvo uh we see the uh macd is telling us that we are certainly in an upward trend for price relative strength we're seeing that we're we've got a lot of buying happening everything is moving in that similar direction uh we are seeing the buying going on However, when we look at the uh, moving average, we are below the 200-day moving average, but we are trading above the 50-day and above the 9-day. So we had a bit of a decrease over time, and we are in a, a process right now of rebounding, and it looks like the company is going to do a good rebound, a positive time to get in now amd is down a little bit further than where we just were uh and but this macd signal line especially we are very, very close to zero but it is telling me that we are just getting ready to see this thing uh move in a more positive direction it looks like we can expect to see the price action going in a little bit different direction we might be right at a very good time to make a purchase the RSI is near 50, which is good. It's at 54. And when we look at where we are right now, the 200 uh, day moving average is we're above the 200 day, we're above the 50, and we are a little bit above the nine day moving average right now. And so we are trending. It appears to be now trending. It had been. Uh, consolidating it appears to be trending now possibly setting up a trend in the positive direction that's a good thing now there's another opportunity or an option shall i say there is an etf is smh vanek vectors semiconductor etf it is a part of my portfolio but if you look at the holdings there's only 26 the three companies that i mentioned to you amd is five percent of this etf then I mentioned to you Teradyne. Teradyne is 1.68% and Cuarvo is 1%. So you could purchase this ETF and get all 26 of these semiconductor companies. Uh, many of them I could easily recommend to you as an individual play. But if you want to get them in this kind of a format i own this etf but i'm suggesting to you that the three companies that i named today are strong individual plays as well but here is a way that you could also buy them as a group you could buy the etf well 
the goal here is to build, live, and sustain wealth. And one of the ways we do that is by buying solid companies, uh, putting them in our portfolio, holding them, watching them do well, learning how to scale ourselves in to a trade and learning how to scale our profits out of a trade so that we make money and not lose money. Now, I've got some stocks that I'm holding long term. It's been 15 years, 20 years, 10 years. But what I'm talking to you about today, this is something that I want you to watch. The first six months of this year, I believe are going to be very, very positive for the semiconductor area. Then when we get into some of this bumpy stuff with the Fed and things being affected globally, and we start seeing some of the supply chain stuff easing, we're just going to watch to see what happens with the growth curve of these companies. But in the first six months, I think it's going to be tremendously positive to be in them. And I wanted to name these three for you on today. Well, I hope you got something out of this that will help you in your journey to wealth. I look forward to talking to you again real soon. And until then, I want you to be blessed.